friends, it's your art teacher, Ms. Barnett, and today we've been talking about how artists use paint to make different shapes on a surface. So we're going to learn two techniques today. We're going to learn the blob method or the blob method, and we're going to learn the outline method. So today, to get started, you're going to need some materials. Um, I'm going to use a 12 by 18 sheet of paper. You can use whatever kind of paper you have. Parents, you wanna use something a little thicker though. So construction paper is a good option. Um, manila folders or what we call oak tag is a good option or um, just a sketch paper if you happen to have a sketchbook in the house should be good. Um, you'll also need a water cup today to take care of our friend the brush. Um, you will need two sizes of brushes so you're going to want a big one and you're going to want a little one and you're going to need the primary colors so the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow, and you'll need a little bit of black. Now parents at home helping their students, um, you can do this also with markers, and I'll do a quick demo at the end of this one about how to do that, so just stay tuned. Also, another recommendation I have for uh, kids working at home and parents that are helping them, set some music and use that to help guide your student through working and help them concentrate. Also, you I would only give one color at a time. The kids at school, when we do this at school, are only going to get one color at a time, and that'll help you kind of regulate and help them not go too crazy with the paint. So use music, one color at a time, um, we're going to make sure that we're leaving some spaces because we're going to go back in with some black paint at the end of this to add some details and some beautiful um, embellishments to our painting. And you're going to want to have a shape touch another shape. That's one thing I'm going to look for in this project. And we're going to get started. All right, families, I've got my paper, I've got my paint, I've got my water cup with my two brushes with the hair in the uh, pail and the, and the tail in the air. And I'm also going to take a little bit of painter's tape and tape this guy down to the table just so he doesn't move around for our students. It's not a bad idea at home to put down some newspaper or work on the floor or outside where you're not gonna worry about if I accidentally spill something, I'm gonna get in big trouble. So I've got my paper, it's taped, I've got my paints, my brush. The other thing we're going to use today to help us work is music. I will add a link in the, um, in the presentation for this music file so this can help you get concentrated. We're gonna get our big brush here and we're going to wipe the excess water off of our brush. And I don't know, let's start with blue. I'm going to dip my brush in the blue. So he's covered, but look, I didn't fill him all the way up. And then I'm going to wipe my brush if I have any excess and I'm going to just place him on the table, I mean off the surface by paper, and I'm going to move him side to side and up and down. There, I just made a blue square. Let's try, I'm gonna wash my brush and wipe. Let's do it with the outline method. So the outline method, I dip my brush in. To make a square, I'll make two vertical lines, and then I'll connect them with two horizontal lines, and then fill in the middle, just like that. Very cool. Let's try it with a circle. A circle with the blob method. Do the outline with a circle. You notice with the outline I'm letting Mr. Brush stand on his tippy toes like he's a ballerina. It helps me control him a little bit more. Excellent. Let's do a triangle. 
blob method. Place him on, move him up and down and side to side to make the shape I want. Cool. Outline method. Make the lines, th three sides, always make a triangle. I'm gonna fill him in. Let's pause the music, wash our brush, and try it with red. Restart my music, because I'm ready to try a new color. Let's do a blob red. Square. Mm, let's do an outline. Let's do a circle. Good job, guys. Let's chain, let's pause the music. Change a color. I'm leaving white space here. So, and you'll see why in just a little bit. We always want to leave a little bit of space. Let's use some yellow. Let's do a blob square. Beautiful. Let's do an outline square. To a circle, blobby circle. I'm going to make a bigger circle this time. Let's do an outline circle. Good. Let's do a triangle. an outline triangle. Awesome. So we can also use another color on a color to blend a new color. So we can try blending some colors together. I'm going to rinse my brush, wipe my brush. I don't know, let's do some blue on this guy. So you might want to blend a couple of colors together. Hmm. I wonder what happens if we put So we did yellow and blue and blue and red. What if we put red on yellow? I wonder what would happen then. Cool. That looks like orange almost. Hmm, what if we put red on blue? Hmm, that made almost the same color as this one. How cool. Let's try some yellow. What happens if I put yellow on top of red? We did red, yellow, red on top of yellow. What happens if we tip yellow on top of red? Pretty. Ooh, 
that's almost the same color as that. Interesting. What if we put yellow on top of blue? Wow. How pretty. All right, so we've tried some blending. I want you to make one shape touch another shape. So I don't know, let's do, let's do a red shape. I'm gonna do a red circle touching this square. Can you draw a shape or paint a shape touching another shape like I just did? Awesome. So let's put our music back on and let's get our small brush out and we're going to use our black paint to um, add details and lines and we can connect, can connect some shapes if we want here. So let's get started with that. I've got my small brush. I have swish swished wiped the brush. <clears throat> I'm going to dip him in the paint, not just a little bit, not a lot. And then I'm gonna go around in these white spaces and I can start painting different types of lines like we did last lesson. I'm gonna paint a spiral here. Maybe a zigzag. Maybe a dash line. And outline my shapes. Is starting to look so awesome. I hope yours is looking just as awesome. I'm sure they are. You guys do such beautiful work. Hey, I put a smiley face in mine. I think we're almost done. Maybe I can make some smaller shapes with my black paint. Do the outline method, do a little blobby circle. Maybe a rectangle. All right, guys, I think my painting is done. I hope you had just as much fun. We're going to swish, swish, wipe our brushes. And when we're done with the brush, we put the tail in the pail and the hair in the air so they'll dry. We'll very carefully, oops, try not to rip the paper, take off the tape. And we can set it to the side to dry. I cannot wait to see your beautiful shape paintings, friends. Remember to use the blob method and the outline method. Leave white space, make at least one shape touch another shape and then use the black paint to add details and embellishments. Now, I'm going to show you really quick how to use the markers to do the same project.